AMS 2140, Collecting ODS and Modal Data. In this tutorial, I will show you how to collect data for ODS and modal analysis using the AMS 2140. There is a separate tutorial on how to configure the analyzer for collection. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Although I am not including the configuration for the analyzer in this tutorial, it is important to keep in mind that the convention, direction, and polarity of the shaft is very important in an ODS job. In this tutorial, we will be working with the convention established in the other tutorial. Let's take a quick look at the convention here. The details are related to the first point where I will take data, but I will continue to apply the same convention for collecting data on points 2 and 3. It is important that the sensor be consistently mounted in the direction indicated in the convention. I will need to revisit the convention before addressing points 4 and 5. Starting from the home screen of the AMS 2140, I selected F12 ODS modal and immediately I see the job I have previously configured. I will start my machine and begin collecting data by selecting F1 Start. After the data is collected, note the labels for reference 1x and response 1x. Here you see the reference spectrum, the response spectrum, the coherence plot, and the phase plot. To view additional plots, I can select F6 Switch Plot Type, and as usual, I can select from a variety of plot types. Going back to the plots for point 1x, I can select F2 next response input to see data for axis 1y and 1z. When I press enter, I am finished with point 1 and I am ready to move to point 2. I move my sensor to point 2 and select F1 start to collect data. I can review this point in the same way as I did with point 1. Again, I use F2 next response input to scroll through responses 2y and 2z. Now I will collect data on point 3. Now that I am at point 4, I need to rotate my sensor and change the polarity in the convention. Because x and y have now changed directions, I will now have a negative x and negative y but my point Z remains the same. This means I will have to change the polarity to negative for X and Y in the analyzer. From the 4X screen, I select F3 change sign, making it negative 4. Then I select F2 to toggle to the Y axis and use F3 to make that negative also. Now I am ready to collect data. I quickly review the data for point 4 but again, I need to make changes before proceeding to point 5. The sensor direction is completely different for point 5. Your channel A has to be associated with Y, while channel C is now associated with negative X. On my analyzer, I select F4 Change Measurement Input. Here I will change Y to input A and X to input C. Next. I go back to the 5Y screen and use F2 to move to the 5X screen, then F3 to make it negative 5X. Now I can select F1 Start to collect data in point 5. Again, I can review 5X, 5Y, and 5Z by selecting F2 Next Response Input. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com/ams2140. Thank you for watching.